Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, the key numbers we're watching are trending in the right direction as the positivity rate hits an all-time low. Now this comes as Baltimore City gets ready to allow indoor dining once again, but with less than 30 days before the start of the fall semester, the excitement for many local college students has turned to uncertainty. WJC is live. Ava Jorbinette explains the Chancellor of the Sy University System of Maryland is shedding some new light on what the new school year will look like. Have a joy. Good afternoon. Around this time of year, many universities would be gearing up for the excitement of the fall semester. But take a look around right now. No one is on this particular campus, and it's like that at many other universities across the country. Earlier today, the university system of Maryland talked about what it would look like if they brought some students back to campus. From Western Maryland to the Eastern Shore and in between, the 12 institutions in the University System of Maryland will have to juggle plans on how to educate students this fall. Nothing we do is without risk. We always talk about risks versus benefits. The system's chancellor, and Jay Pearman, said some students will return to campus, but others will have to continue learning online. Students that need to have some in-person instruction are coming back, and in general, what we can do remotely, we do remotely. Anyone who returns to campus will have to test negative for COVID-19. Fighting this virus is going to take robust and rap more rapid testing. On the Today Show, Governor Larry Hogan said he's teamed up with other governors to step to in where the federal government dropped the ball. We're purchasing 4 million rapid tests in a consortium of states because uh, this wasn't done at the federal level. And it certainly makes more sense uh, to do that in, in, a, in, in that capacity. The health department says Maryland is hit a record low positivity rate, 4.03%. Leaders also reveal the governor's helping universities expand their testing as some of the system's 170,000 students prepare to move back in. Dr. Pierman says they won't hesitate to shut things down if the virus flares up once again. We're uh, all very sensitive to that. And I would tell you that each institution within the system is finalizing the exit strategy. As for fall athletics, many of these universities are adhering to the guidelines based on the conference that they play in. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJC.